The first human received an implant from Neuralink yesterday and is recovering well. Initial results show promising neuron spike detection. Elon Musk revealing a second patient has been implanted with Neuralink. Elon Musk just revealed Neuralink's true endgame. And it's not about curing diseases. Within five years, they'll hack human vision to see infrared, ultraviolet, even radar. It's already working in monkeys. But that's just the appetizer. Because right now, a Silicon Valley CEO says no kids until Neuralink is ready. A competitor beat Musk with a 20-minute brain implant. Robots are training with jetpacks and skin that feels touch. This is the dawn of an entirely new species. And by the end of this video, you'll understand why brain computer tech is becoming the next frontier in human evolution. Elon Musk recently unveiled Neuralink's most revolutionary project yet, Blindsight, a brain implant designed not just to restore vision, but to expand it beyond natural human limits. In a June 2025 interview, Musk revealed that within the next year, Neuralink will begin human trials for its vision implants, directly stimulating the visual cortex to bypass damaged optic nerves. The technology has already been tested in monkeys, with one subject successfully interpreting visual data for three years. While initial applications focus on restoring basic sight for the blind, Musk's long-term vision is far more radical. He claims blind sight will eventually enable users to perceive infrared, ultraviolet, and even radar wavelengths, effectively granting superhuman sensory capabilities. Early primate trials show promise, with monkeys correctly identifying shapes 66% of the time, though the resolution remains rudimentary, akin to early Atari graphics. Human trials are set to begin in late 2025 in the UAE, with Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi leading the research. But not everyone is convinced. Neuroscientists like Dr. Ioni Fine caution that biological vision doesn't function like a digital display. The brain processes visual information in complex, non-linear ways, and artificially replicating that, let alone enhancing it, presents monumental challenges. Skeptics argue that Musk's claims may overpromise, particularly for vulnerable communities desperate for solutions. For people like David Williams, a 31-year-old blind since birth, the hype is secondary. His hope isn't for heat vision or UV sight. It's the simple ability to see his mother's face. Whether Neuralink delivers on its grandest ambitions or merely restores basic vision, the impact could redefine human perception forever. Now, moving on to something a bit controversial. In a striking declaration blending futurism and personal life planning, Scale AI founder Alexander Wang announced he is delaying parenthood until brain-computer interfaces like Neuralink become mainstream. During an appearance on The Sean Ryan Show, the 28-year-old tech executive argued that children born with neural implants will develop an intuitive relationship with AI, leveraging their heightened neuroplasticity. Kids who are born with brain chips are gonna learn how to use them in crazy, crazy ways, Wang said. His reasoning hinges on well-documented research. A 2009 study in brain development confirmed that young brains exhibit extraordinary adaptability, allowing children to acquire languages and recover from injuries more effectively than adults. Wang believes this plasticity makes early childhood the ideal window for integrating BCIs, transforming how humans interact with artificial intelligence. Neuralink's progress lends credence to his vision. The company has already implanted a patient with ALS, who reportedly edited videos using only his mind. Competitors like Synchron, backed by Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos, are advancing similar technology, collaborating with Apple to enable iPhone control via brain signals. Yet the concept of Neuralink babies sparks intense ethical debate. Critics highlight unresolved risks, long-term brain health, data privacy, and the moral implications of modifying children's cognition. While Wang frames the technology as an evolutionary leap, skeptics question whether society should normalize invasive implants for non-medical enhancement. Neuralink's own trajectory underscores these tensions. Despite receiving FDA breakthrough device status for its blindsight implant, the company faces scrutiny over animal testing complications and the broader implications of merging human biology with machines. Wang's stance reflects a growing Silicon Valley mindset. Human limitations are engineering challenges waiting to be solved. 
But as Neuralink and rivals accelerate toward commercialization, the world must confront a pivotal question. Should we embed AI into the next generation's brains, or does the risks outweigh the potential? Speaking of rivals, the brain-computer interface, BCI landscape, is rapidly evolving beyond Neuralink. Texas-based Paradromics recently achieved a critical milestone by successfully testing its Conexus BCI in a human patient during epilepsy surgery at the University of Michigan. Smaller than a dime, the implant records neural activity at the single neuron level, translating brain signals into commands for patients with severe motor impairments from ALS, strokes, or spinal cord injuries. Paradromics CEO Matt Angle confirmed the device was safely implanted and removed within 20 minutes using standard neurosurgical techniques, marking the company's transition to clinical stage development. This breakthrough intensifies the BCI race, while it's important to mention Neuralink secured $650 million in Series E funding to advance its brain chip technology, the competitors are pursuing alternative approaches as well. China's state-backed new cyber neurotech aims to conduct 13 human implants by year-end. Synchron, funded by Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates, is developing a less invasive BCI that travels through blood vessels, while Precision Neuroscience, founded by ex-Neuralink employees, places its device on the brain surface. Paradromics and Neuralink remain the only companies with direct neuron interfacing technology, a key advantage for high fidelity signal processing. The diversity of these approaches underscores both the field's momentum and the unresolved question of which method will dominate the emerging neurotech market. Next, industrial automation is entering a new phase with Aeon, a humanoid robot developed by Hexagon and NVIDIA to address global labor shortages. Unlike single-task industrial robots, Aeon combines advanced mobility with AI-driven perception to perform diverse functions, from precision scanning for digital twins to part inspection and machinery operation. The robot's rapid development was enabled by NVIDIA's full-stack robotics platform, including the Isaac Sim simulation environment, where Aeon mastered core locomotion skills in just two to three weeks, a fraction of the typical five to six month training period. This robot represents a convergence of physical and digital worlds. Equipped with NVIDIA Jetson Orin for real-time decision-making, it captures 3D environmental data that integrates directly with Hexagon's Reality Cloud Studio via the Omniverse platform. Future iterations will incorporate NVIDIA's upcoming IGX Thor system to ensure safe human collaboration. With pilot deployments planned across manufacturing, aerospace, and logistics, Aeon exemplifies how humanoids, powered by simulation-trained AI, could redefine industrial productivity. As Hexagon's Arnold Robert notes, this is beyond automation. It's the dawn of general-purpose robotics capable of learning and adapting to dynamic real-world challenges. Get ready for robots that don't just move, they feel. Researchers at the University of Cambridge just cracked the code on robotic skin, creating a hydrogel membrane packed with 863,000 sensory pathways. This isn't your typical sensor array. It's a single, flexible layer that detects pressure, heat, and even damage, just like human skin. Dr. David Hardman, the lead scientist behind the project explains, we wanted one material that could sense multiple types of touch simultaneously. No complex wiring, no bulky hardware. The implications are staggering. Picture prosthetic limbs that actually let users feel textures or surgical robots that can gauge tissue pressure in real time. Even wearables could leap forward, evolving from simple trackers to devices that respond to your touch like a second skin. The team already demonstrated a robotic hand wrapped in this hydrogel, proving it can track objects, sense contact, and react to temperature changes. We're not at human skin levels yet, admits Dr. Thomas George Thurathel, a co-author, but we're closer than anyone else. The real kicker? This skin could train AI systems to interpret human-like touch, paving the way for robots that interact with us and the world in ways that feel eerily natural. Finally, if you thought humanoid robots were impressive walking around, wait until you see one fly. Meet Iron Cub 3, the world's first jet-powered humanoid robot 
developed by Italy's Institute of Technology. No, this isn't a drone with legs. It's a full-fledged humanoid equipped with four jet engines, two mounted on its arms and two on a backpack, capable of lifting off the ground and hovering with AI-controlled stability. The engineering behind this machine is nothing short of extraordinary. To withstand the extreme conditions of jet propulsion, where exhaust temperatures hit 800 degrees Celsius, the team had to completely re-engineer the robot's structure. They developed a titanium-reinforced spine and heat-resistant shielding just to keep the system intact. And the results? In recent tests, Iron Cub 3 achieved stable flight at 50 centimeters, a milestone that proves humanoid robots can indeed take to the skies. But why go through all this trouble? The answer lies in disaster response and extreme environments. Unlike drones, which have limited manipulation abilities, a flying humanoid could navigate collapsed buildings, operate machinery mid-air, or perform repairs in hazardous areas. The AI system, trained using deep learning and wind tunnel simulations, ensures the robot can adjust to turbulence and maintain balance even while airborne. The next phase? Scaling up. The team plans to conduct advanced flight tests at Genoa Airport, pushing Iron Cub 3 closer to real-world deployment. With each successful test, the line between science fiction and reality blurs just a little more. That's it. We're entering an era where humans merge with machines, seeing beyond nature, raising AI-augmented kids, even flying like Iron Man. Neuralink's just the beginning. The question is, how far will we go? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the future.